That's pretty good. Pretty good. Very, very nice. Gosh, what a beautiful engine this is. Just so well made. There are several brands of model steamship steam plants available to the discerning enthusiast. So what does Rocking Whale bring to the party? Well, simply put, absolutely outstanding technology, great design, near perfect production, and killer prices. I mean, what else, what else can you ask for? Look at this day. It's an absolutely bloody gorgeous day. But let's go back a couple of days. First, I had to build it. Today the rolling whale kit engine has arrived and I've been hugely looking forward to this because what I can find in the forums about rolling whale engines is that they have utilized the very latest manufacturing processes to build some beautiful quality, beautiful looking model steam engines. And I'm very lucky to have this here to show you guys Today we're going to go through building and running this kit. Parts packages, each bag is numbered and they typically relate to a part of the build so that when you finish the build that requires 6, 7, 8, that should pretty much be empty. If you get very much further and this bag is not empty, then you should check out if you've missed a part before you get too late. The only other negative issue for me, apart from figuring out which of the planned drawings is for an O-ring and which is for a washer, is that this has to be bent. That's how the copper pipe has to be bent. There's no comment about how to bend that copper pipe. And it comes straight, part 59. 
for me it would have been much much better if they had a pre-bent that for me I want to do a really good job of bending that and get the ends coming to exactly where they should that's really helpful blue blue is so helpful mm. hey I'm not sure that engine oil is good for cats Sterlingkit.com supply these engines. Thanks, Sterling Kit. They're great. Even the cat enjoys them. Retro SE02 has a large flywheel and is a kind of a demonstration engine. It's actually very well made, like really well made. But it's made as much for looks as for anything else. It's certainly not going to power your steamboat. What it does do, it does brilliantly. It looks fantastic. It's quite easy to build. It's got everything you want, including the water sight glass, the whistle, and a beautifully rendered little generator. The light lights really brightly. This is a fantastic set. Got it from Sterling Kit. It's really good value, like $280 on special, including postage. Fantastic. This is showcasing Rocking Whales technology for steamboats. And as an engineer, it feels fantastic to build that high, high quality kit. Let's get it going now. This is going to be the second run. I've got some water boiling. We're going to poke that into it and see how we go. I filled this about 60% last time, but I think I'm going to go for about 75 to 80 this time. Um, and I'm confident that the burner will run out before the water does. That was um, what I was sort of testing. This little boiler is quite small for the size of this engine. It's really a demonstration of Rocking Whale's beautiful technology. And as such, it's all that many people will want. So I think it's a really good idea for them to release this in this way. I think the market for it is large. You're getting a steamship RC quality engine for the cheapest possible price. A serious working engine it is. So we're at about 75%. We might go up to 80. There's the safety valve. I like this burner. Okay, that's burning my hand, so that's good. Well, when I say good, I mean it's working. I'm going to turn this around and pre oil the cross slides and some gear. I've checked that there's oil in the in the condensate oiler here. I'm happy with that. The only change from the first run, apart from being a bit run in, and me a bit um, less nervous about things going wrong, the only change is I've moved the valve in the chest about a third of a millimeter. No idea if it'll make any difference. Very smooth. Very smooth. So I didn't have to do any messing with the valve to get that running. I think it could do with some messing with the valve. I was very careful and we'll see. Yep, yeah, we've got condensate coming out of the exhaust which I've moved around. I'm just going to move that down a bit so it doesn't spit on the, pho on the phone. It's 
actually feeling pretty good. Pressure. Yeah, still on zero, really. Oh, that's that's really nice. I think I've improved, I definitely improved that, haven't I? Oh, that's a really nice start. So yeah, I've definitely got the valve in a better place. We've got the double acting rather than a... Yeah, maybe a little bit single acting in the middle, but... That's pretty good. Pretty good. Very, very nice. Gosh, what a beautiful engine this is. Just so well made. Really nice. I'm just going to do up my... Um, do up this a little bit. Okay, where's my screwdriver? Really nice. Beautiful. You can smell the oil coming out, that's good. Right, let's turn it the other way. We're up to one bar, pressure. Oh, how good is that? I don't know if you're impressed, but I am absolutely impressed. Right, let's turn this around. Okay, see the water bubbling away there? I'm just going to show you the pressure. Bloody gorgeous. Bloody, bloody gorgeous, thank you. Rocking whale. What a master machine this is. Here we go.
Real quality, real quality, that one. Generator set with a whistle. Two beautiful engines to choose from. Enthusiast level and probably professional level, you know. Um, outstanding. Rocking whale, what a beast. That rocking whale engine is just so smooth. Let me turn this one off. It's like a sewing machine. That's a, you know, smooth as a sewing machine. Just a beautiful piece of um, high-end technology. So this is in its second run. And how well run in is that? How smooth does that sound? I loved putting this together. I could tell it was a quality unit and the way it's running, it just confirms it every bit of the way. Half bar is what this runs on, like that. Obviously it'll take much higher pressure if you want to run a steamboat with it. Two very different models, which do you prefer? Both of them are fantastic value for money. Both of them were a joy to build. Both of them came from stillingkit.com. So welcome to the community, Rocking Whale. Good job. I mean, great job. Hey!